So what's the effect of radiation if you receive radiation in some way? And it's all, it's really all over the place. Uh, let me just show you this table. You don't have to copy this down, but just know the general concept here. So let's start at the bottom. If you get an x-ray at the dentist, uh, that's why they cover you up. REM, that's another uh, type of radiation. It's called radiation equivalent to man. So x-ray, you'll get 0.2 rem. Uh, just living on Earth, there's radiation coming from the outer atmosphere, from background radiation from the cosmos, and that's 0.13 rem. So we're naturally being radiated, and that's, that's fine. Uh, you, uh, if you get one REM, then 100 people for every million, parts per million, uh, will develop cancer in 20 years. And, and you can imagine this is hard to have research on, just because how do you get the subjects to do such a thing? But 450 REM, 50% 50 of those people will die in a month, and then if you get 1,000 REM, you're going to kill everybody. That guy uh, who observed the second H-bomb in Bikini Atoll got uh, 10, 10 rads, uh, which is about 20 rem. So he's right here. Him, or likely most of his buddies, are not alive anymore. Not because of natural death, but because of that, that bomb. So, uh, very, very dangerous. And, and you can imagine how dangerous it is to sort of estimate or how difficult it is to estimate because what do you study these people or who, who are you studying actually? Yeah? Why would some people survive that amount of radiation and other people die? Why would some people survive? That's hard to know. Uh, but I guess it affects, you know, how, how it affects your body is really going to affect what happens. So how those neutrons or whatever get into your body is going to affect what happens to your body. <clears throat> so, just like some, uh, some people or some population is more resilient to attack or, or whatever by pestilence or disease in a similar sort of way.